okay in this video we are going to use uh, the git to track our files and folders uh, so uh, we are going to use the git as the distributed version control system so i'm running ubuntu 14.04 to install the git you just use the command sudo apt git install git under the ubuntu and the devin system as this will install the latest version of git as i have already installed i am not this will not reinstall because that is already installed in my system so if you are using uh Sendos, fedora or red uh, red hat based distribution just you can use the yum command yum install git uh, this will install the git on your fedora or Sendos or red hat distributions if you are using mac os x you can uh, you the mac operating system has the uh utility command uh, that that actually this is the third party utility command that you need to install uh, this 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 utility can be used to install the git we install git uh, in this way or if you have used if you are running a windows system so you can just go to this website and download the git for your windows based operating system so let's get started okay well i'm under uh, the root directory of my blog application so to track all these files and folder using git which is the distributed version control system uh, git provides the handy commands called git init uh, this will initialize our blog by creating the dot git which is the hidden folder under this root directory of our project so if we do git Git status. Uh, this will display all the files and folders which are currently untracked. To track uh, these files and folder by the Git, we need to issue the another command called Git uh, add k. This uh, will the Git add dot will add all the files and folders which are in this current directory to the staging area so if we do git status as you can see git add all the files and folder folders to the staging area but these files hasn't committed so to permanently save this file in our local repo we can use the command git commit minus m then uh, we can provide the message uh, like models have been created for our blog application okay if you do git status uh, there has been there is no changes in our files so you know, git uh, there is nothing to commit so even we can also ignore the files uh, if we, let us say we don't want to track uh, this compiled python file to untrack this file we need to create a file called dot git ignore and then we will use this wildcard notations to untrack this file uh, let us say if i create a file called tots uh, test.pyc if i do git status uh, git status uh, at this condition uh, the test.pyc file uh, has not been tracked by the git because uh, we have created a file called .git ignore uh, which uh, list all the files that should not be tracked by the git so let us add this dot git ignore file to our local repository of our git to do that we simply use the command git add dot ignore and git commit minus m dot git ignore file is added so uh, okay uh, we can also push these changes to the remote repository to uh, create or to push these files into the remote repository uh, we can use the github uh, which is the github.com and by going here uh, actually i am going to cancel this download uh, we can create a repository for our existing repo so let's say django blog django blog uh, this is the django 1.9 blog and uh, let us create a repository 
so uh, this uh, this will create a new repository so that we can push all our project file in this repository so uh, we are uh, trying to push and implement uh, this repository in an existing repository so let us let me copy this command and then just paste here and copy this command and then paste here this will actually uh, push all these files uh, into this uh, repository so let me enter my username uh, next 2016 okay Okay, as you can see here, uh, we are pushing our local project files into the Git repository. Uh, if we uh, refresh this URL and go to this repository, uh, we can see our files. As you can see here, we can see our file and along with our commit message. So this is the process of uh, tracking our blog application project using the distributed version control system in the next video we are going to uh, integrate our blog app using twitter bootstrap so thank you for watching this video